What's up, Tweety Gang? It's your girl, Tweety Gram, back with another video. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm taking a long, a long, long time doing this, but I'm taking you guys with me on my diet plan. So I'm going to show you guys a clip or two of what it actually consists of. But before I get to it, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. And y'all, let's just get straight to it. Lose 24 pounds in just two weeks. So basically, that's what I'm going to be eating for the next two weeks. I already have everything bought. I just have to prep it. Um, I am going to be working out in between. These last couple of weeks, I actually just finished working out. So that's why I'm kind of like out of breath. But I will show you guys the equipment that I got from Five Below. And I've been incorporating everything in these workouts. I've been working out an hour a day. I plan on working out every Saturday, Sunday, resting Mondays, working out Tuesdays. I have dance on Wednesdays, working out Thursday, resting on Fridays. Um, on Saturdays, we have pickup practices for a couple of more weeks. So I'll be working out before I go to practice. So yeah, your girl's been working out twice on Saturday. So <laughs> I'm really trying to like, you know, get snatched. But I really want to do this diet plus workout to see if I see better results. So I actually did weigh myself before I started and I'm at 189. So I want to see within these next two weeks that I'm doing this meal and this diet and these workouts, am I going to lose the 24 pounds they claim I am? We're going to see it together. But I did actually do a before video of how I looked before. That way we can go on this journey together, y'all. So I'm going to do the scale and all that stuff too that way we can actually get like accurate numbers and i decided to do this when i'm not drinking alcohol and when i'm not having that time to mind because you know that can throw that shit off too so without a doubt y'all i have faith in myself but as y'all can see by the video it's mostly eggs every morning it's gonna be an egg two eggs and a fruit and then lunch and dinner will differ depending on the day um I am going to throw in some cheat items in there, but it's mostly just going to be like pickles because pickles have zero calories. And the goal of this diet is to lose weight, but intake so many calories. So we're going to see if that works because I do have to have some type of, you know, snack in between lunch and dinner. So the pickles going to come in handy because they ain't got no calories, but y'all let's go on this journey together i'll show you guys me prepping everything for the week and i'll show you guys the day-to-day -day of the next two weeks so let's get so i did print it out that way i can actually like keep myself accountable so i have the dates we're starting on the 22nd and then we'll end on february 4th that way it's exactly two weeks now if i see a difference I might prolong it and continue to do it, but I just want to start with the two weeks just to see if I see any type of progress. So for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, every single day of the week is accounted for. And like I said, it goes all the way until February 4th. So for the most part, everything is mostly eggs, chicken, salads, and like different type of fruits and veggies. That's basically what I'm going to be eating for the next two weeks um there are some things thrown in like um one of them is like cheese one of them is a chicken salad one is grilled fish so they have different things thrown in here but for the most part it's the first things i just stated but honestly i've been kind of prepping myself for this because the last i want to say two or three weeks i've been eating a lot of horrible eggs just to try to like you know get myself accustomed to it because I love whole boiled eggs, but I'm not trying to eat so many of them and then I get sick of it. So I was trying to like accustom myself like, okay, every like two to three days I'll eat whole boiled eggs, whole boiled eggs. But like I said, majority of this stuff I already kind of eat, so it's not going to be too, too crazy, but it's just accustoming my body to only eat this stuff, not, you know, snack with anything else. But <sighs> we're excited, aren't we, babe, to do this diet. 
excited. Hey, oh yeah, Nanny. <laughs> we got fish. We got steaks. We got all that. I'm not eating steaks, y'all. He's eating steaks, but <laughs> I already showed y'all what I'm about to be eating. But I feel like I want to prep this stuff, get it over with, and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I actually already got a bunch of oranges from one of my bosses from work, cause his father. You know, does some gardening. So he has some oranges that he picked before we had that big ass freeze the other week. So I have 10 oranges, which is crazy because I actually need 10 oranges for this week. So I didn't even have to buy oranges. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to start boiling some eggs, y'all, and start prepping. My breakfast and lunch for the week, I'll deal with the prepping for dinner when I get here. Because honestly, for the most part, I'm literally just going to be really eating like salads and chicken. And he grills the chicken. He grills everything in the house. So I'm not going to make him grill all that right now. We can literally do that day by day. But let's get to these eggs. So the eggs will be boiling for 10 minutes and after they're done I'll put them back in the carton and then you know we'll eat them starting tomorrow. Afterwards I'm gonna boil the potatoes, cut them up real good and get those ready for the week too. Y'all, while the sweet potatoes were cooling off, I went and grabbed a bunch of these plates. And I have labels that say Monday breakfast, Monday lunch, and just went through all the week. I did not include dinner because dinner will be here. I'm not going to have to worry about putting it in a container, per se. So, I'm finishing up these. And then we'll get to mashing the sweet potatoes. All right, y'all, so I'm going to do several parts to this video. I was going to do it all in one, but honestly, all this is not going to fit in one video. So we're about to go ahead and prep everything from breakfast to lunch for the week. So let's get to it. All right, so all of our breakfast for the next two weeks are going to be two cardboard eggs and a fruit. And we're going to do the oranges. So we'll do orange. And two more old eggs. And yes, I have plenty of salt and pepper. Hallelujah. <laughs> so this is my breakfast. Okay, guys, off camera, I got a bunch of bags with the dates i mean the days on them that way i know which bag goes to which and i'm gonna fill a bunch of these with pickles those are gonna be our snack choices for the week 
and I don't necessarily have to really like label that as a snack because I mean that's what we gonna do. All right, y'all. So we officially went through two jars. Um, this jar was already, as you could tell, gone. So I only really use like one in a couple jars. All right, y'all. So I did all seven days worth of pickles, and the magic number was three. So three on each side of these bags. I'm gonna add them to our days, but let me go ahead and get the lunches. So tomorrow, which is Monday, lunch is gonna be two apples and then two pieces of sweet potatoes. So I got my mashed sweet potatoes right here. I'm literally probably just gonna do like two scoops. Which these are gonna be big scoops, but. my two pieces boom and then get my apples Great. I usually eat green apples but I decided to go with red I might switch it to green next week but we're gonna try the red and see what is it though? So, Monday will consist of this two apples and some sweet potatoes. Of course, <laughs> you guys have a color here. There we go. Mighty packed in here. So, what we're gonna do is put Mondays together. Bunch of bottoms. Then we'll put breakfast. And we'll pick it on the side. Try to get a little bit. And this is Monday. So let's move on to Tuesday. Tuesday consists of green veggies and chicken salad. So I do have chicken salad over here. And we do have green veggies. So the green veggies I have consist of okra, spinach, broccoli, green beans. I believe that's it. I might be missing one, but I'm feeling with the chicken salad, I'm probably gonna go with green beans, Loki. The thing is, I can pop these in the microwave when I get to work. So I can literally eat this quick and easy. I ain't gotta do it beforehand. So we're gonna empty out the chicken salad in here. And I'm gonna leave the vegetables in the bag to make it easier since I am not cooking it beforehand. And for anybody wondering, it is the white meat chicken salad rotisserie style is if you go to Walmart, you can see that there's like several different types of chicken salad. I am not really a chicken salad girly for real, for real, but your girl is definitely a rotisserie chicken type of person. So if I'm gonna eat this, we gonna do the rotisserie, okay. And the good thing is if I do not finish my lunch at all, cause the portions are looking pretty big, as y'all can tell, like, this is the second plate I made and they're already, like, huge portions. But if I don't finish them, I'll just bring them home and finish it. Like, it's not that big of a deal, right? So, we're gonna finish this one. Like it is. And we will just add our green meat bag into our bag. So, for Tuesday, a will chicken salad. Put our green beans to the side. We'll put our breakfast on top of it. And then we'll actually put our pickles probably on the same side. As the green beans. Okay. 
and then that's Tuesday. Now I will say when I first saw people do like their meal prep, I thought, oh my God, that's so expensive. That's so much money. Not really. <laughs> All of this that we got today, one thing we bought that was not ours, but it still costed less than 60 bucks. And this is all for a breakfast, lunch, and dinner portion for me. Baby, that's not nothing. <laughs> like, come on, let's not do that. So Wednesday, Wednesday's lunch is low fat cheese, one tomato, and a piece of sweet potato. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one scoop of sweet potato. I think I'm gonna put it to the side. So there's only one scoop. And then low fat cheese. I actually had to look it up for real, for real. And what I saw was like cottage cheese. I don't think I've ever had cottage cheese in my life, y'all. So we're gonna try that. <laughs> we're gonna see if we like this one. But I'm gonna leave it in this container and just put it to the side. And then I'll put my tomato right here. So let me grab that. I was like, because mm -hmm. you know, you always see Daisy's commercial where they're just like eating everything with cottage cheese, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't think I've ever tried cottage cheese before, y'all. So, this Wednesday's lunch is gonna be kind of interesting, but we're gonna thug it out, we're gonna thug it out as we do everything else, <laughs> literally. All right, so Wednesday is done. Let's pack it up. I'm And this is one bed. Alright, let's move on. I think I'm gonna need this tomato. I'm only gonna need her for like dinner, I believe. So we just gonna put her in here. All right, so Thursday is actually pretty crazy. It's only free. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do, honestly, um, I think I'm just gonna do orange. I'm doing orange. Um, I'm trying to see if I have. I don't have sweet potato any other time on here, and I have some left over, so I'm gonna actually add that to here. So I'm gonna have my orange, and I'm probably gonna have the rest of the sweet potato because y'all, I still got you know, like a spoonful of. So instead of it just being just fruit. We gonna add some sweet potato to that too. Cause your girl got a lot of sweet potatoes. <laughs> I underestimated how much sweet potato bunny did, but it's okay. So that is our Thursday. Along with our pickles, of course. So if my lunch and breakfast isn't the same next week, do not come for me, okay? I'm letting y'all know that I underestimated or overestimated how many sweet potatoes I really needed. So we just gonna add it to there because just true, baby, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, Friday. So Friday's lunch is vegetables and two boiled eggs. So that's why I kept the boiled eggs out. So let's add two boiled eggs to it. And then it says vegetables. It does not say which type of vegetables. So what would I be feeling with my boiled eggs? Hmm, that is the question. What would I be feeling with my boiled eggs? Hmm, so this is Friday. It's the last day of my work week. So I'm going to go with, that's crazy how I'm literally gonna be eating four boiled eggs on Friday. Like, your girl gonna be going through it. Um, actually, I'm eating four boiled eggs on Tuesday too. Jeez. Um, hmm. Which vegetable am I feeling 
for Friday. Because that's all I'm getting is vegetables and some old eggs. I think I am going to probably do. Hmm. I don't know why, but broccoli is kind of calling my name. I know it is a very weird mix eggs and broccoli, I know, but it's calling my name for Friday. So we're gonna go with broccoli, okay? So don't come for me too much. <laughs> Cause yeah, calling my name, calling my name. So we we'll have our two boiled eggs, our broccoli, and our pickles for our lunch and snack choice for Friday. Along with our breakfast. So I was kind of deciding low key if I wanted to even like pack Saturday and Sunday. Cause usually I'm here at home, but I say, you know what? Just do it. It's for the week. Just do it. That way you ain't gotta worry about doing it later. And you can just pick it up, eat it, and go, right? So Saturday's lunch is fruit. You guessed it, fruit. So <laughs> we got an orange. Now, I don't really actually have another fruit, per se, because I underestimated this part. So, for now, we're just going to have this orange, but I'm probably going to end up getting some more fruit. Okay. Oh, my Lord. I was not talking to you. <laughs> I was not talking to him. <laughs> um, we have one orange left, but that's going to be for dinner for one of the days. So, for Saturday, for lunch, I'm going to keep this in here. But at some point, I'm probably going to go and get it like a fruit bowl or something you know so for the time being it's just this it's just this y'all it's just this but we only have one more to pack and we're done crazy And the best part is, now that I've actually done it, I know what to look forward to next week, so I will have more than enough fruit for next week. <laughs> and lastly, y'all, Sunday. So Sunday's lunch is going to be tomato salad, steamed vegetables, and chicken. Of course, I did not have the chicken yet, so the chicken will not be packed today, but I will do the veggies and the tomato salad. So I'm actually gonna have to look up where the tomato salad is on. I do have a tomato though. So we're gonna add the tomato today. And I do have salads. I did not do my research before this video to see what a tomato salad was. But if I need to, I'm already gonna have vegetables. So I can always just, you know, say, I'm just gonna have a tomato and some vegetables. So that's basically what it's gonna be. So with the chicken and the tomato, what vegetable do I want? Um, let's see y'all, what do I want? I might do, so for dinner, I have a bunch of veggies. I have, looks like three other options for veggies. So maybe okra, am I feeling okra? Am I, mm, am I feeling okra? So I'm trying to see when would I eat the okra? That's the most thing on my mind. Like, when am I eating this okra? So, maybe the okra could be for like, hmm, chicken and okra? Or could it just be okra by itself? Mmm, that's the real question. <laughs> so, honestly, I think I'm gonna do. Do I want spinach or do I want carrots? You know what? We're gonna do carrots. We're gonna do tomato, carrots, and chicken. Boom. Boom. Okay. And this will be our lunch for Sunday. And for next week, I might switch some stuff up as far as like the vegetables and the fruit, of course. I'm probably gonna stick with oranges, depending on my mood. It's because I love cuties and I haven't had cuties in a long ass time. But 
this is our last bag. And there you have it. These are our bags for our breakfast, lunch, and snacks for Monday through Sunday of this week. So it is from January 22nd to January the 28th. And we will start back up next week with our next meal prep for next week. I'm going to take you on that journey next week as well. I don't think I'm going to do the same vegetables. I might switch it up. We're going to see how I'm feeling next week. Because it's going to be very, very entertaining to see how my body is going to react and adjust to this. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. But I do have an orange left. But like I said, there's a bunch of stuff that um, I'm eating for dinner that I am not going to pack because it's already going to be here. I do have two hard boiled eggs left as well, but like I said, that will be for a dinner as well. So just so y'all know, there's a bunch of salads I'm eating for dinner, a bunch of chicken, orange, boiled eggs. Um, one of them is grilled fish and veggies. So that's mostly what I'm going to be eating for dinner for this week. But at least you guys got to see what my lunch, breakfast, and snack consists of. And of course, I'll take you guys with me, with me eating everything that way you guys can see what I'm actually eating as far as what's in the video. But guys, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. I definitely want some very encouraging words in the comments because I feel like I'm in a different mindset and headspace to where I can actually do this. Um, I haven't been as open with my journey for, for real for real because I actually stopped eating fast food. I cut it out during the pandemic and I want to say I've been cold turkey eating. I think I've been cold turkey eating fast food for at least two to three years now. I might have, you know, slipped up within the last, like, two years, but I'm going to say within the last one to two years, I have not been eating fast food. Only thing I really eat for real is, like, Chick-fil-A, Canes, for, but, but from time to time, I don't really eat too much of it. Recently, we had Domino's, but that's because, you know, life happens. But for these two weeks, I am dedicated to eating all of this stuff right here that's on that grid because I'm serious and I really want to see if I'm going to lose anything. I don't care if I don't lose the 24 pounds that it claims I'm going to lose. I just want to see something. So stay tuned. This is going to be a crazy journey, but I cannot wait to do it and have you guys along with me. So to you gang, I will see you guys next video. We'll pick this back up with me going through every single day eating what is on our diet plan so hope y'all had a great time watching this video and i'll see you guys next time